This is the Charlotte 49ers Spring Sports Special. We are covering all the spring sports here. Uh, the 49ers are playing this this spring, and it's time for the golf segment. That means we've got head coach Adam Pry and two of our stud golfers, Will Golden to his left and Corey Nagy on the end. Corey a senior, Will a junior. Coach, welcome. Thank you. Good Thanks, to be guys, here. for Thanks coming for out. Having yeah. us. Thanks for having Look us. Look at these ties. These guys know how to do it. Now, that's because this is probably the most well traveled team we have on campus. You guys are not afraid to go fly out to the West Coast and play some golf out there. Talk a little about the, the, the travel miles you'll log in a year and how tough, and I'll get to the players on that, how tough that can be to keep the grades up and all the other things, all the responsibilities back home. Yeah, we do travel quite a bit. Uh, they get used to wearing this a little bit because we dress mm -hmm. up when we fly. And, um, you know, we go wherever we need to to play the best tournaments, the best competition, the best golf courses. And if that's in California, then it's in California. If we're lucky enough to do it here in uh, Kannapolis like we will this spring for our home tournament, we'll stay here. But um, we'll start the year out in L.A., and, and we're looking forward to that trip. A lot of, uh, lot of travel guys. When we, we talk about the fact that you guys also are pretty good in the classroom, how do you manage all that? Because a lot of these tournaments, people don't realize the college tournaments are going on pretty much during the week. There aren't a whole Very lot true. of weekend tournaments for you guys. Will, talk about the, the extra workload that can yeah. happen when you guys are deep in tournament play. It starts getting organized before it all gets going. Right now, getting your planner set up, everything, Adam preaches it, and we listen. And... Uh, getting everything, knowing what's coming, and talking to the teachers, getting ready. And um, we've been back on a red eye, flying back, flying back from California, land at 645, and we're in class at 8 if we can make it. And um, it puts a stress on it, but you just got to be organized and stay on top of it. So. You guys obviously haven't been around here, have been around here a while, so this is kind of getting to where you're into some rhythms and routines. I know, Corey, uh, golf golfers love having ha habits and routines and things like that. How do you balance the schoolwork, especially when you're away, you know, consecutive weeks on the road? Sure, it's tough, but I think going back to what Adam and Will said, it's just you really just got to manage your time well, and I think that even prepares you for the next level because you, you really got to manage your time. And you know, as long as you stay up with your planner and organizer, or, you know, BlackBerry phone, whatever you got, uh, just you know, making sure you're on top of things. And and um, you know, our teams really can't procrastinate. There's a lot of procrastinators on campus probably, but we got to make sure we get things done um, in an appropriate time. And that means extra tournaments at the end of the year, meaning conference, regionals, nationals, things like that. These guys have been a part of teams like that. When you get that deep, what, what are some of the goals as we talk about this year? When you get that deep, what kind of work has to go into it to get to that point? Yeah, well, one of the nice things they're kind of talking about is when you get to NCAA regionals, NCAA finals, we're out of school. Yeah. Uh, Mid-May, late May, early June. So they, you know, their schedule changes dramatically. And um, after they've been doing such a good job all year long of managing their time and, and uh, preparing on top of all their schoolwork, um, when you get to the postseason, it seems like uh, you got all day long and, and you got nothing else to worry about. And it kind of frees you up to prepare and uh, really be sharp with your golf games. And speaking of, of preparing and practice, the facility over at Rocky River uh, Golf Club, just up the street across from the uh, from the Speedway, is nearly done. By the mm -hmm. time uh, this season rolls around, you guys will be in there full time. So, guys, talk about what it's like to have a place to practice that's yours and, and a place to get better and keep going uh, right. well as you guys continue to, to climb up the charts. I mean, that's a big deal, especially this time of year when the weather's as bad as it is with these snow days and stuff we're getting to be able to hit indoors when the courses all throughout Charlotte are closed. We're able to hit, practice, get things done, putt, and uh, we have a place to do that now, which is great, and it'll keep us sharp, get ready to play. Corey, as, as you think back to the moment you stepped on campus, I remember that fall was the fall that the groundbreaking yeah, happened, sure. but to actually have a building and have a place to, to practice and not have to drive around and be scattered about and do all sure. those things, it's got to be nice as a team to get the work in. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's really cool. I think guys four or five years ago, six years ago, would laugh at the idea of having a place of their own to practice and have a building of their own you know, to, to really call theirs. It's been a treat to, to have it, for sure. Kind of a reward, Adam, for the things you guys have been able to accomplish. Five straight conference titles. There isn't any other program that can say that. Around these parts, women's track is, is right behind you with four, but it's good to, to keep the winning going. I know as we talk uh, before about 
some of the guys that are out there succeeding past their Niners career, guys on the on the pro tours out there. I know Trevor Murphy got a lot of run last year with his U.S. Open weekend, but they, we have quite a few guys out there that are that are getting some checks on Sundays. So talk about those guys and how that can help bring in some new talent for you guys. Sure, yeah, we've had a, a number of guys have success once they leave school, and, and Trevor Murphy just finished 10th down in Australia at the Nationwide event this week, and, and Jeff Curl, a former team member, will be joining him on the Nationwide uh, tour this summer. Um, Jonas Enanderheaden and Matt Mintz are playing a lot on the Tar Heel Tour and, and some nationwide starts and Jonas a little bit over in Europe. Same with Stefan Wiedergruen. So, um, you know, it's nice to see guys graduate and go on and have success at the professional level and um, it's exciting to follow them. And I'm sure when you go out and talk to kids, you can name drop a little bit. You know, this is a place where you can prepare to get better and make it to the next step. Guys, do you, do you keep up with any of your former teammates as they're out there and playing a text here or there? Uh, and and are these goals that you have set for yourselves moving on after after college, Corey? Sure. Yeah, I uh, I, I definitely want to be uh, my goal is to be number one ranked golfer in the world. And uh, you know, talking to actually talked to Trevor uh, about two weeks ago about kind of making that transition of from college golf to professional golf because it is a it is a pretty big deal. And uh, I think there's a couple things that you can do um, and things that you can work on to help make that transition smoother. And uh, so, yeah, I definitely keep up and, you know, we practice a good bit with Jonas and Matt, whenever he's in town, you know, we'll, we'll try to get together and, you know, talk about the next level. But yeah, that's my goal is, is to be the number one ranked golfer in the world. And I know it's going to take a lot of work, but, you know, that's where I want to get to. And Will, as, as you play for Charlotte, when you get out there and you play some of these tournaments, even deep into the year, we talk regionals, we talk conference. How does, how does playing here maybe get you guys ready for that next level? Do you think about that at all, or is it something that it's a nice thing to, to put in your head for later, but how do, you, how do you translate what you're doing now on the course to your goals? Well, always when you're at this level, you're preparing for the next level. And we've, learned, we've been, able, been pretty fortunate to learn from these guys we've been around. My freshman year, getting to practice with those guys like Trevor and Jonas and them, and learning everything you can from them and seeing how they've done it, it's great to be in that atmosphere and have that opportunity and definitely want to take advantage of that because that's our goal, like Corey said. I mean, it's our goal to be out there competing with the best in the world, to be the best in the world, and that's what we're here to do, and we work every day at that. So, Not a whole lot of upperclassmen, but these are two pretty good leaders for your team this year. They've got a, a nice young stable to, behind them. And talk a little about this year's team as we as we wrap this segment up. Yeah, these are our, our elder statesmen <laughs> um, with Ryan Wilson graduating in December. Um, he was the other upperclassman. He's uh, moved on and um, got a bunch of young guys behind these two. So um, four sophomores and two freshmen. Um, I would expect to see a lot of the same of what we saw in the fall. Um, looking forward to being a little bit healthier. Mm -hmm. um, Tyler Mitchell sat out the entire fall after the first tournament with a knee injury. Um, he's, he's healthy and ready to go. Um, Will had the swine flu. We had another guy with mono. So wow. we're looking forward to being healthy and, and uh, a lot more of a uh, high level golf. And Andy Sajovic <laughs> and Olafur Lofsson, two of the new guys, both averaged under 74 in the fall, played every event. Nice. Um, so I'd expect to, to see a lot from them. And we got other guys pushing them. Paul Ferrer, an all conference player back from last year, and, and Rafael Guerrero um, and Simone St. Louis working really hard to, uh, to you know, keep raising the bar. And, and, if somebody's not sharp, they're going to get beat, and that's that's the goal. That's that's kind of what you want every year. I really appreciate you guys stepping in off the course for us, out of the tee box to come in here and talk to <laughs> us. I know we weren't going to play around in this uh, in this attire, he but can do it. Yeah. Oh yeah. I bet you I'll could. Go out there. Yeah. The let's do style. it. These guys yeah. aren't afraid to just give me a, give me a tee and a let's ball go. and let's go play. Right I now. think I'm in. I think I'm gonna. I think I'm in trouble <laughs> if we get on the course right after this. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks so much for for joining Absolutely. us. Best of health. Best of luck this year, mm -hmm. Adam and guys. I, I remember when they first got here, too. They were so young, and now these are the old guys on your team right now. It's kind of neat to <laughs> see it. that. Right. Adam Pry, head coach, Will Golden, and Corey Nagy. Thanks, guys. So good luck to our golf team. You can follow them all season long at our website, www.charlotte49ers.com. Stay with us. Another segment on our spring sports special coming up.